does. He does. We saw in pregame warm-ups, he was hitting from 45 yards, which at the high school level is very impressive. And we're kicking it off here at Death Valley. Not a great kick. Again, it's the wind conditions. And it down and around across the 30-yard line. And that's where Tipton will start off at. Again, that was not a great kick, but again, it's it, it's the rain, it's the drizzle, you know, the field conditions. It's not nearly as perfect as let's say last last week. No, last week was a beautiful game, nice and sunny, perfect wind conditions, perfect weather. Uh, so you know, there's some games that can happen where conditions are definitely a huge factor. And Dallas Capshaw back there for the Blue Devils. Capshaw waiting to receive the snap, hands it off, and it is not going to go anywhere. Valley with the tackle there. I, be I believe it's a gain of a couple yards. That was Hussey on the carry, the sophomore, I believe, and I will bring up a second down. It's only a gain of two. So again, not, not a bad run. Again, easy conditions. Not a bad run to start off, right, McCartney? Uh, correct, and I think, you know, they're just gonna line up a lot in this formation, just single backfield. Man in motion. Here's Capshaw Hanson. Oh, jet sweep. Actually, no, I think that's a pass. Like a Patrick Mahomes kind of pass. You know, a toss pass. And I that mean, Chris was, Collinsworth was talking about him a lot, so we might, I might as well call it that. That was Calvin Condick. Calvin Condick on the carry there. If we got we counted as a pass, so it's only again a free, and it will bring up third down and five for Tipton. Again, this is kind of what you expect so far. Here, take it a little slow, and then let's see what they do here. There's three receivers at the top of your screen, third down and five. Capshaw waiting to receive the snap. He does. Fakes the handoff, and he's got to run for it, and he's going to get close to that first down marker. He gets gains of about a couple yards. He keeps it, and it will bring up a fourth down now for Tempton. He just couldn't get that edge there. He tried to cut inside, maybe break free, but you know, Valley's got a huge front seven, massive yeah. linebackers, yeah. massive Ma linemen. Massive right there, it, it is massive. So now the Blue Devils, they will punt it away here. Here's, that snap was solid, not a bad punt, honestly. Gonna get the drop and now Parker's gonna return it. Parker, down to the 40. And he's going to get dragged down, and I believe he's going to get pushed back. Maybe they'll give him an extra yard there, and I think he might be down at the 41, maybe the 42. And now we'll bring up first down in 10, Tippy Valley. That was Trey Gasser, I believe, on the tackle. So now again, Cody Eastgate, starting quarterback, has been the starting quarterback for the past two years. Do you expect a lot of pass in this game? Uh, just knowing the way Valley plays, as I expect a lot of run, lot of run plays. few pass plays here and there, but no, I don't expect a lot of passing in this game. And Eastgate under center. He hands it off, gets it on over to Parker. Parker gets it already to midfield. I believe he has that first down marker. You would be correct there, Drew. That was a pickup of yep. 11 yards. 11-yard pickup. That was perfectly executed there. First down, Valley. And this is what we see a lot out of Nate Parker. He's able to run up that run up that field, and just he's for such a small dude with such a small build. He's got some insane strength and power to drag defenders down. So first and ten at the 47-yard line here. Eastgate again under center. Wade Jones goes in motion. He's going to get the carry. He's going to walk through. Wade Jones still on his feet, and that's going to pick up another first down for Valley. A little jet sweep action here going in the first quarter. That will bring up a first down for Valley. Great run there from Wade Jones. Yes, you are absolutely correct. That was a beautifully designed play, and it worked to absolute perfection. Speaking of which, I want to say congratulations to Wade Jones on on his commitment to Taylor University. Co congratulations to Wade Jones. And first down and 10, Tippy Valley. Eastgate under center. Man go in motion, he's gonna pass, he's gonna sling it. Almost, almost 
intercepted. It was tipped it. It was all over the place. He was intended for Marshall, and I will bring up second now. Actually, I believe the pass was intended for the tight end Landon Durkis. I guess. But it was I, Thanks tipped. for correcting me. <laughs> it was tipped back to Trent Marshall, who just couldn't turn around in time. If he would have caught that, that could have been six points for Valley. Yeah. Sometimes when you... Sometimes those things kind of happen when you know your ball is not going to go to you, and then sometimes you see the ball and it kind of, you know, all over the place. <laughs> I love the sound effects, Drew. <laughs> I, I, I know. Eastgate under center again. Gets up the toss on over to Parker. Great block in there from Valley. He's going to run. He's still on his feet. First down and more. Past the 15. Close, and he is in the red in the red zone and it's first down and 10 and McCartney that was almost as perfect as blocking as you could have gotten out of that play oh yeah man that was such excellent blocking able to open up the lanes you could drive a truck through those lanes as how <clears throat> open those gaps were for Nate Parker to run through first and 10 Tippy Valley and Eastgate again under center Let's see if Tipton here may, might show blitz. They won't. Gets on over to Parker. Parker's still on his feet, and that is a touchdown, Tippy Valley. Easy work for Tippy Valley on the first drive. Dave Parker on the carry, and that is a touchdown for Valley. And he was able to run over two Tipton Blue Devil defenders there. Nate Parker is something else. Parker having another great start for Tippy Valley. Overbeat the extra point. I would say this is almost automatic, but knowing these conditions, who knows? Overbeat the extra point. And what was I saying, McCartney? I don't know what you were saying. He could have kicked he could have kicked that from the other end zone and made it. I mean, what was I talking about there? The conditions. Overbeat makes it perfect. So Valley up seven. We'll be right back on RTC TV4 and the IGC. And we're back on RTC TV4 and the IGCA Champions Network. Andrew Thompson along with Courtney Wright and, uh, commentary. And this is not to start the Tipton once. As they are as the Blue Devils are trailing by seven the Valley. Over B again to kick it off for Tippy Valley. First one wasn't that great. Let's see if he uh kicks it better here. Actually it's gonna be a squib kick there. Tip the Blue Devils were just able to pick it up there. And the Viking and the Death Valley wrecking crew there. They were able to smother it up. And now that will bring up first down and ten for the Blue Devils. As soon as he recovered that ball there, he was I, met by I, the I wrecking thought, crew. Well ball. from the way from the way he holds the football, it looked like he was gonna drop it for a second, McCartney. It looked like it was a potential muff of the kickoff there and a almost like a Darren Sproles run, you know, just letting the ball be free. But, uh, Darren Sproles, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. You're welcome. Bringing football knowledge to you every Friday. Upshaw, ready to receive the snap. He does, gets the toss on over, and it will bring up a yard or no yards there. It was not much, and it will bring up second down and, t second down and 10 for Tipton. And Tipton... Struggling to move the ball down down the field so far. Yeah, I mean, we're only two drives into this game for the Tipton Blue Devils here, but uh, haven't seen a lot of success for them. Not a lot so far here. Upshaw looking to receive the snap again. Hands it off. Oh, no, he's going to keep it. And he, get, and he does not go anywhere there. Now we'll bring him third down for, for Tipton. And that was Moriarty on the tackle there. Obviously, Gravy Moriarty, son of head coach Steve Moriarty. And, I mean, they tried that quarterback keeper, but it's, it's just not working for him. No, it is not working for him so far. Upshaw, third and eight. Oh, no, they're going to go back to pass. He's going to throw it. And it is incomplete. Great defense there by Wes Parker. That was very solid defense there from Wes Parker. That was on over to Conaway there. Oliver Connor was the attended receiver. And that will bring up fourth down now. They'll have to put it again. 
that ball looked like it was a little overthrown there by Capshaw. But uh, again, great defense there by West Parker. So for Finney, back to, to punt it almost blocked here. I thought it was going to get blocked there. Here's the return there from Nate Parker. Nate Parker slips through a tackle. Gets through it over Parker. Are you kidding me? Nate Parker, is he gone? One man to beat. And he's going to get knocked down. Great return from Nate Parker. And it will bring up first down and 10 for Tippy Valley. Great return there from Nate Parker there, McCartney. Yeah, that return there reminded me of Devin Hester. I mean, I, I don't know about Devin Hester. He's on another level, but. Obviously, Devin Hester is on another level. But I don't know about that. <laughs> kickoff status, like return status wise, that was an excellent return. As soon as he got the ball, he put a Timpton player on ice skates, made him slide across the field. That's what you want to see from your return man some insane agility and great elusive and evasive maneuvers. I was going to say, McCartney, Hester is on another level here. It's, let's cool, calm down a bit here. First and 10, toss over to Nate Parker. Looking for blocks, and he's only going to get a few yards there, and I believe that will bring up second down for Tippy Valley. It's going to be a gain of eight there. He was looking for that perf for those perfect blocks there, McCartney, and could only get eight there, but still very solid, McCartney. Yes, eight, eight yards on any carry is an excellent play. So first and ten, I formation, I believe. Eastgate under center. Hands it off over to Nate Parker. Parker will get that first and goal for Tippy Valley. Now, what do you think Coach Moyarty is going to call here? Do you think it could be a run to the uh, outside? It's going to be another run. It's going to be another run, McCartney, I bet. I mean, it could be a run up the middle to uh, Moriarty there playing a fullback. Could be run to the outside. There's a lot of options they can do here on the uh, goal line. There's not a lot of people on the right side of the defense there. So Eastgate again under center. Hands it off over the middle. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown, Tippy Valley. It was close there. I thought he didn't get in, but he was just able to get it in for, the, for a Tippy Valley touchdown. Able to get enough push there from... I don't know if it was just from Nate Parker, the offensive line, but an excellent run there for six for Valley. Nate Parker's second touchdown of the night. If he keeps playing like this, he could be setting Valley records. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, there's going to be a fake, and it is no good. They tried the fakery, and it does not work for uh, Tippy Valley. So Valley 13 to nothing. We will be right back on RTC TV 40. I just say it's network. network. 13 nothing Tippy Valley. Exactly five minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Valley off to a, once again a dominating start. Feeling like deja vu from last from last week. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Valley just put the flat the pedal to the metal. There we go. If I can finally get my words out. Put the pedal to the middle last week, and it looks like that's what they're going to continue to do this week. 13 nothing, Tippy Valley. 5.30 left to go in the first quarter. Do you think they could go for another onside or a squib kick here? I think they will, honestly. And they will. And, and he's going to call a fair catch there. That was Landon Spidel. He called for a fair catch all the way back as, at the 30-yard line? Close to the 30. 29, I, I believe. 29, yes. But, uh, but you know, that could have been a smart play there. For I her. think I honestly got a smart play, honestly. It's solid field position for her tip -tip. So first and ten, tipped in. Dallas Capshaw, ready to receive a snap. Valley looking, maybe blitz. He tosses on on over, and he's got to get absolutely smacked. I believe right behind the line of scrimmage. And it will bring up second down. McCartney, that had no shot. 
of going anywhere on that play. No, Brock Durf and Wade Jones are able to sniff that play out and just execute that defensive stop there. Or, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> a loss of two on a play. Upshaw, again, looking to receive the snap. Valley might be looking for blitz. Upshaw back to pass, looking, looking, and he's going to gotta get brought down. That was Grady Moriarty, I do believe, on the sack there. Yes, that was Moriarty on the sack. That will bring up third down. And it's, long. Yeah, third down and long. Third and 17 for Tipton. And third drive. So far, not looking good here for Tipton. No, I think they have negative yards on the game so far. Oh, yeah, not looking great for Tipton. And Upshaw back to throw. Durkis was blitzing incomplete. That was intended for Oliver Conaway. Got absolutely drilled there by one of the Valley defenders, and that will bring a fourth down. Once again, Wes Parker on the coverage there. You know, they could have called unnecessary roughness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking there. I, I, was, I thought they were going to call it on that play. They could have called it there, but they didn't. I don't think it was obviously an inadvertent hit. Uh, I think if it happens again, the, the rest might call it, though, I think. Very possible, very possible. And here's Tipton back to punt. Not a very good punt there. Does it get past the 50? It does. And I think just that extra bounce, and it's going to get at a going to be down at the 40-yard line. That and was a high arching punt there from uh, their punter. But it was able to work out for him and bounce all the way past the 40. That, I, it wasn't looking good for a second, but that extra bounce was just able to get there. So Valley first and 10 again. You think it would just continue on with the running game? Yes, I 100%. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But uh, empty as you're saying, as I'm saying, an empty backfield, empty backfield for uh, Eastgate here. Let's see if they do some trickery here. Eastgate back to pass. He's looking over to Wade Jones. First down, past the 30, down to the, past the 30 actually, near the 25 yard line. I think it's going to be down at the 26. First down for Tippy Valley. It took four Tipton defenders to bring down Wade Jones. That was a great throw there from uh, Eastgate. They were able to get on over to Jones there. It was a perfect pass. It was looking like a screen for a second there, honestly. I thought they were thinking screen. That was a great sell there by uh, Nate Parker. And, ooh, Marshall was able to trip there for a second. He is able to get a few yards there. And so it's going to bring up second, second down there for Tippy Valley. Now we might be seeing these weather conditions might get the best of these players from here on out. Yeah, that, that, that trip there from Marshall, you could tell that he was it was not going to go go very far there. No, I mean, you never expect a trip, but uh, that could have been an absolutely beautiful play. Turned into a two-yard gain, which is better than nothing. 13 to nothing, Tippy Valley. Three minutes left to go in the first quarter. And here, Eastgate receiving this. Waiting to receive the snap. He does get it on over to Nate Parker again. Might as well hand it off to him again because he's just going to score another touchdown. Tippy Valley. And that was My a beautiful run there by Nate Parker. No one in sight to tackle him. Touchdown, Tippy Valley. That was perfect blocking and perfect speed there from Nate Parker. That's his third touchdown of the night. Third the touchdown in his first quarter. In the first quarter. And Overby. And that is perfect. I don't. Actually, no, it's no good. <laughs> it is wide left, I believe. And I believe, if I'm wrong, that's one of his first missed PID kicks this year. Uh, this is not something we do see often from Gage Overby as he's an excellent uh, kicker. Uh, I don't know if he might have slipped on the field or what happened there, but it went wide left. 
We'll be right back on RTC TV4 and the IHSAA. And we're back Champions. on RTC TV4 and the IHSAA Champions Network. 19 nothing Tippy Valley over Tipton. And it is dominance once again from Tippy Valley. Parker, Nate Parker, free touchdowns first quarter alone for Tippy Valley. So Overby. Again, the kick it off for Tippy Valley. Overby and another swift kick there. And he's and Tipton's not gonna get much yardage there. Just maybe past the 30 there. And that's how Tipton will start off. For their fourth possession, I believe, in this first quarter. Yes, you're definitely right. And their return man there was throttled down. But uh, Capshaw leading this offense, but there, he's not leading them to much thus far. Like I said earlier, I believe they're at negative total yards this game. And <clears throat> Capshaw and shotgun. Capshaw shotgun hands it off and it was able to get through a few tacklers there and get close to the first down mar marker there. That is, that is definitely their best run play of the of the game for Tipton. That play was sniffed out by Dalton Albert, but he just got there and fell to the ground trying to make the tackle, and he just they just let him get right through the middle there. So second and one, Tippy, uh, Tipton. I was about to say Tippy Valley. <laughs> Upshaw, Capshawks, check that. And I do not believe it will, it will get the first down marker. I believe it will bring us to a third down for Tipton. I believe that is a third down and two. I think we were able to push him back a yard for a loss there. I think so too. Calvin Condon with the carry. That was Calvin Kondek on the carry. So fur down and two for Tipton. Hands the ball off and able to stuff him down. Brock Durf in there and Kyler Johnson in there to make the stop to push him back for a fourth down and three. That will bring up a fourth down. We have a minute eight left in this first quarter. And I, I honestly, fourth down and two, I fought down 19. I thought Tempton might have gone for it here. Well, I mean, they're not Dan Campbell and the Lions. That's right. Oh, no, he oh. muffed the punt. Is Parker able to receive it? And a Valley player was able to get on it. That was, that was near West, disaster. Wes Parker able to have the wherewithal to recover it there. Like we said earlier, I mean, you know, the weather conditions could be worsening. It might not look like it on camera, but it could be worsening. As that's not something you see very often from Nate Parker. No, you never see that from Nate Parker. And that was almost near disaster for Tippy Valley. So the ball's going to be at the 10 yard line here. And Iske hands it off. Gets it on over to Parker. Gets a couple yards there. That's going to bring up second down for the Vikings. That was a gain of four. Yeah, not a terrible gain there for their first play of the drive. Four yards is better than nothing. Yeah, exactly. And Landon Durkis comes in for Kyler Johnson. 15 seconds left on the play clock and 17 left in the first quarter. This is going to be the last play of the game. Not not, not the game. <laughs> jeez, jeez, squeeze. Last play of the for, first quarter. First quarter, thank you. Back to pass. He's going to look for Landon Durkis. Oh, broken up there. So one second left on the... That was Joe Klauser on the coverage there. 
leaving one second left in this first quarter for and one that, more play. That would have been a long gain of, if uh, Dirk was able to hang on to that football there. I mean, I got to give props there to Joe Klauser, able to knock the ball out of Dirkus's hands there. So one second left in the first quarter, guys. It's the first quarter, not the game. Third and six. And fakes a handoff. Hands it on over to Trent Marshall. Marshall breaks through. And, and he's able to pick up the first, first down. And that is the end of the first quarter. Tippy Valley 19, Tipton 0. We'll be right back on RTC TV 4 and the IHSAA Champions Network. Second quarter, first and 10 for the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings after the seven yard game from Trent Marshall. Trent Marshall on the carry. That was a great fake from Valley there. I thought it was going to go to Nate Parker there because if it, it would have went over to Nate Parker, surely that would have been stuffed. I mean, it looked like it, but uh, Trent Marshall, he had a carry last week, and it went for, he had a few carries last week, I do believe, and one of them I know was at least for a first down. So when he can get the ball, Trent Marshall can be dangerous in open field. First and 10, Tippy Valley at the 23. East gave back to pass. He slings it over, and it's complete for the first down. And Cody Black, I believe, passed midfield down to the 45-yard line. First down, Tippy Valley. The tackle was made by Chase Hussey. Cody Black able to stiff arm him down, but Hussey was able to get the shoestring tackle there. And that's a huge first down for Valley. That was That is huge right there from Tippy Valley. So down at the 45 yard line for Tippy Valley. Valley driving once again. So Sharka for Eastgay. And they're going to toss it up. That's over to Grady Moriarty. Grady Moriarty, Coach Moriarty's son, able to trip down, gets through around the 25-yard line there. Oh, man, if that was gone, how Steve would have been happy there. That was just an excellent run there by Grady Moriarty. He's got some surprising speed and quickness. He, he, and again, Coach Webster, Viking strong, able to get players faster and more stronger. That was like a game of 20 for Moriarty. So first and 10, shotgun formation for Isuke. Back to pass goes Isuke. Looks, looks, able to evade pressure. He's got to, and now he's got to get taken down. I feel like that definitely should have been a flag there. That was a, That was close there. That was a wrestling, that was an amateur wrestling snap down if I have ever seen one. Cole Hussey was able to knock him down for a loss of six, and that will bring up second down and 16. Now, it could have been a flag there, but if you're Eastgate, you got to throw that ball away. You, you definitely got to throw that ball away. Yeah, you're 100% correct there. But Eastgate tried to make a play happen, and uh, he just got absolutely snapped down there by Hussey. So, second down and 16, back to pass. Oh, wait, checks it on over to Moriarty. That ain't working there. That's a loss of about one or two. That is cool, Hussey. Back to back plays there. And that will bring a third and long. Now, if you're Steve Moriarty, what do you do in this situation? Do you throw it deep or do you give it to Nate Parker and see if he can get an open field? Make it, if they can't get the first, see if they can make it a more manageable. Well, if this was perfect goal. conditions, I'd say run and get a few yards. Let um, overbeat kick, but no, I think you got to pass it here. Eastgate under center, more Parker. Actually, no, it's going to go over to Trent Marshall, and it will be a few yards there. And that will bring up fourth and long. Tackle was made there by Chase Hussey. So it goes from Cole Hussey from one brother to another brother there. Yeah, the Hussey brothers are showing a little bit of defense here on this drive. And Gage Overby back for the 35 yard, or excuse me, 38 yard field goal attempt here. 38 yard. Actually, I think that's 39 yards. 39 yarder. Overby kicking it up in the, in the back conditions. That is good. What an excellent kick there from Gage Overby. 
I mean, that is just some incredible leg strength there. Making the lead 22 to 0 for your Tippecanoe yeah. Valley Vikings. We'll be right back on RTC TV4 and the IHSA. We're back on RTC TV4 and the IHSA Champions Network. Valley fans, we want to make a correction here. Overby nailed a 46 yard field goal. That was, we want to correct that. It was a 46 yard field goal. And now that brings up Valley 22 nothing over tipped in in the second second quarter. And that was the, his third 40 plus yarder of the season. Very solid year for Overby, and that is a triller, and that is going to be a touchback. I don't even think that player was. He was like, nope, I'm not taking a chance on that. What a rocket from Overby, kicking that out of the end zone. <laughs> that player was like, nope, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking any chances here. But here comes Dallas Capshaw and the Tipton Blue Devils for their fifth possession of the game. So first and ten for Tipton. So first and ten, Tipton down 22. They need a big play here. And he throws it. It is complete. Solid pass there from Upshot. I was over to Landon Spidal, the junior. Landon Spidal, six foot two, hundred and eighty pounds, wide receiver, very solid few yardage. That will bring up a second down for Tipton. Yep, that was an excellently designed play. That's That was just a hitch play. And uh, Cody Black was able to make the tackle, but not before. Landon Spidell picked up, I believe, seven yards. So second and three. Down at the 27-yard line here. And he hands it off. And Hussey, I believe that he was able to get the carry. But it's not going to bring up much now we'll bring up third down well he was driven back to about the 20 23 I want to say but they were able to give him forward progress making it third and one for the Blue Devils so third down and two for Tippy Valley Tipton drew uh, to Tipton excuse me <laughs> so third down and two Tipton Hands it off, and that is a, and he is met by a couple of Valley defenders. Is he able to get it? I believe so. I believe that is a first down for Tipton. I said Tipton. Okay, I said Tipton. There you go. That was a very close play. He had just enough to get the first down there. And I believe that is the, is that the first first down for Tipton this game? I, I, I don't think so. I think. Maybe first or second. I first or second, I believe. First down, tipped in. He's got to throw it again, and there, there you go. Back to back completions there. Very solid there. And now we'll bring up, bring up six yards for the second down for tipped in. That's the same exact play to the right side there. Two landed Spidel. Yeah, again to Spidel. Yes. Oh. So, so. Go ahead, McCartney. Tipton might have found their bread and butter there for their, you know, when they get first downs, just do that quick five yard hitch route. And. This is a second out of four. That is a fumble. He is gone. Touchdown, Valley. Brock Durf on the scoop and score for Tippecanoe Valley. Disaster for Tipton coming into that Valley, and their disaster has only gotten worse. And that was just a miscommunication there from Dallas Capshaw to the running back. And again, that was a bad. That was that was not good for a Tipton there. No, not at all. And here comes the Justin Tucker. Justin Tucker. We're calling, calling him Justin Tucker now. Justin Goodness Tucker, gracious. Val Elvery's kick is good. And I think we're going to keep it on the air here this time. On RTC TV4 and the IHSA Champions Network, McCartney and has been dominance for Tippy Valley all game, all game long. I mean, you're absolutely right. I'm expecting at halftime that Steve Moriarty is going to put some of the JV uh, men in there. Uh, maybe put Hunter Stage at quarterback. We saw him there last week. Didn't do too terrible. Um, I mean, I mean, he didn't do he didn't do terrible at all, McCartney. No, not at all. Twin Lakes' only score last week was on our JV. Yes. 
So, I mean, if we just keep adding on, keep playing good football, this is uh, this this game is already. I feel too far gone, but like you said at the beginning of the broadcast, if there's time on the clock, there's time for a comeback. Absolutely. We've seen wild things here in football. 29 nothing, Tippy Valley. Is Overby going to get another touchback? Do you think it's going to happen again? Oh, I mean, definitely. At least get it to the five, and just maybe it'll roll into the end zone. But Overby. We don't have announcers drink. Jinx is right. I hope not. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I didn't say anything. Maybe they Over B. That is And is a touchback. Crazy. Gage uh, Over B was built to be a kicker. Over B, that was a very solid touchback. And that will, that will bring a first down and 10 for a tip 10. Oh. Francis, Diana Roberts, Carol Presley Rogers, and Terry and Kevin Jordan. So first and ten. Capshaw still in a quarterback. Capshaw hands the ball off. That's on over to Spidel, if I'm correct. He's going to get taken down there for a one-yard loss by Grady Moriarty. That was a great tackle there for Moriarty McCartney. He was able to wrap him up and take him down there for a, like I said, one-yard loss, I do believe. Now we've got three men out, well, four. At four, I believe. Second down at 11. Back to pass, and he's able to get brought down. Dalton Auburn on the sack, and now we'll bring a third and long for Tipton. And that's going to make it a third and 21. I mean, at this point, what do you do here in a third and 21 situation? So Tipton, third and long. Third and long for Tipton. Down 29. Capshaw looking. And he's going to look, able to get through some players and gets absolutely smacked. There and that's going to be a fourth down and very long. There is a flag down on the play. What could this be on? So a flag on the play. Let's check the flag. It's going to be holding against the Blue Devils. So penalty decline, fourth down for Tipton. And Tipton again is gonna have to, gonna have to punt it again. Maybe we can get back there and block it, Let's get another scoop and score. And here we go, almost oh. just gets it away, but it's gonna be very great field position for Tippy Valley on our next drive. And, ooh, I think the punter there was almost scared that that punt was going to get blocked. He saw a massive wall of Valley wrecking crew defenders there. He was just lucky to get that ball off. Oh, oh, yeah. Very lucky to get the ball off. So first down and 10 at the 25-yard line. Brock first, Durfin at fullback. Nate Parker at running back. First and 10 at the 25. Valley up 29. Hanson off. On over to Nate Parker. Parker, flag on the play. We'll check the flag. Should it be holding on Valley, maybe? I believe that's a full holding on. Yes, holding on Valley. And that's something you don't want to see for Valley there. You don't want to uh, have mistakes start to leak in. 
So it will be first and 20 for Tippy Valley. And I do not believe Coach Moriarty was happy about that uh, holding there. No, not at all. So first and 20, and now the carry gets on over to Brandon Stiles. Great blocking there. Solid blocking there. Gets a few yards. Second down for Tippy Valley. I believe Brandon Stiles there was able to pick up nine or eight or seven. It was one of those numbers, Drew. I swear it was. <laughs> It's gain of eight there. It'll be second out and 12 for Tippy Valley. So if Valley scores again, it will be up by five scores in the second half. Unless Tipton scores, they will go to a running clock. Back to pass goes. Slings it on over to Nate Parker. Is he going to get his fourth touchdown? Yes, he is. Touchdown, Valley. Nathan Parker just adding on to that stat sheet of his with a first reception touchdown of the night. Adding on to a total of four touchdowns. Four of them. Four of them. And with that touchdown, we now move on to a mercy rule running I Actually, no, it's going to be the second, till the second half. Second half. Thank you for the correction, Drew. No problem. Over B, we're having a little bit of a workout here. Extra point is perfect. Kind of sounds like a workout for Overby, but that's just me. We'll be right back on RTC TV4 and the IHSAA Champions And we're back Network. on RTC TV4 and the IHSAA Champions Network. Andrew Thompson along with Courtney Wright, 36 nothing Tippy Valley. So, so far it feels like deja vu for Tippy Valley. You're darn right it does, Drew. I mean, we're, and again, you're coming at... Valley, knowing that Valley's independent, you really don't know how how really good you might really be considering you're independent. But, again, Valley looks like I don't think it's a big problem for Valley so far. No, not at all. I mean, obviously, weather conditions not a problem. Tipton Blue Devils defense not a problem. Their offense not an issue at all for Valley. So, so Overby kicking it off again. And that is another great kick. And it's going to be another touchback. And it will bring a first down and 10 for the Blue Devils. And at this point, if you're if you're tipped in, I mean, you got to get something up here. You really need something. If, if, you're, if you're Coach Toll and the, and the Blue Devils, you're just thinking, man, you need, you need something. Yeah, you need absolutely something positive to happen just so you can go into these next couple weeks coming up, you know, so you have something to build on. But uh, they're not seeing much of anything as of right now. Capshaw still in a quarterback. And he's looking, and he's going to give it on over to completion. And it won't be much. I believe it's a gain of two. Maybe three, and there's going to be a flag on the I play. I believe it's going to be un unnecessary roughness on Wes Parker. Yeah, lay, yeah it's going to be a lay hit on, on Wes. I don't think it was intentional. I think he just fell to the ground and landed on top of him. But that's going to be a first down for the Tipton Blue Devils. And something uh, Steve Moriarty definitely doesn't want to see. And something nobody wants to see for Valley here. Well, Moriarty hasn't been really the kind of guy to like penalties. Regardless if they're good or bad. First and ten, Tippy Valley. Tipton. The Tipton again, my goodness. <laughs> first and ten, Tipton. At the 37, hands it off. Perfect, solid block in it for a second. Only gets a couple yards there. Now we'll rig up a second down for Tipton. So I believe it's going to be a gain of three for the Blue Devils. So now with the penalty, looks like Tipton's driving a little bit here. Getting a little bit of gas so far. Just a little bit. That was a pickup of four there. 4.15 left in this second quarter and this first half. So Tipton, Capshaw, excuse me, looking to receive the snap again. Back to pass. He throws it in. It's a little lobber pass. It's still complete. Still on his feet. And Durf, I believe, able to knock him out of bounds. But it was still bringing up a first down. 
for Tipton. That was a upward pass, but it was still a great completion there. Uh, correct. And uh, Brock Durf was able to get in there and knock him out of bounds with a touchdown saving tackle there. So first down and 10 for for Tipton at the 36 yard line here. Capshaw looking and, and he hands it off. Perfect block and I believe it's gonna be holding on Tipton. This play is gonna get Colin back, I believe. There's been a lot of penalties this game. Is that gonna be a holding call? Yeah, holding on Tipton. And that call is going to get Colin back. And they're going to march it close to midfield. And that will bring up first and long for Tipton. If you're Tipton, are you thinking about passing it more often instead of running? Are you thinking I mean, about that? I feel like you have to. Their running game just hasn't been very effective. They've had a few pass plays that have gone for a decent amount of yardage. But right now, the pass play has been their friend here when they go for it. But so they're first and 20, off. and they're going to hand it off, and it's not going to be much. Bring up second and long. And we were talking again, that rushing game not working effectively, and it shows again. Yeah, because they were, I believe they lost three yards there, making it second and 23. Correction, they lost two. But still... Their running game just isn't very effective. I mean, I don't know what's happening there, but uh, they're just not able to get anything going. No, they're not. Second and 22 now for Tipton. Dallas Upshaw. Actually, Capshaw. Check that. Second and 22 at the 48. Man goes in motion. He's going to look, and he's going to get brought down. Grady Moriarty. Steve Moriarty is happy on the sideline, and that will bring a fur down. Yeah. For the Vikings. Grady Moriarty is having one heck of a game here. And look at how long this third down conversion will have to be for Tipton. Third, third down. And, and 33. This is not anything Tipton would want. This is not the position that they want. No, after the big first play of the drive, or that big pass they had, it's just been all downhill from here. So third down and very long. Three At the 41, and, he, and he's just going to get a simple handoff here, gets a few yards, and that's going to bring up four <laughs> very long. and <laughs> Taken down by Grady Moriarty. So two minutes and 15 minutes left, uh, 50 seconds, excuse me. That was only a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and very long. Fourth and, and 31. And the Blue Devils will punt it again. And a punt there. Not a bad punt. And it will be right around the 25, 26. That will bring a first down for Tippy Valley. And so 140, 48 left to go and the first half. What do you think Coach Moriarty is going to do in this last minute 48 of the half? Go for a field goal maybe. Field goal will never Yeah, hurt. you have all your timeouts left. You've got all three timeouts. You have plenty of time on the clock. Do you think he's going to go with his bread and butter and run the ball or maybe throw in some pass plays there? He's going he's gonna to run the ball, As definitely. We see Wade Jones going out wide in the single back formation. And he's going back to throw. He's going to look. Has the defender, and he's got to throw it away. No, he does not. He's going to get sacked. And that is Jack Roach on the sack. And uh, Eastgate there was driven right into the ground, almost head first, which is something you never want to see. So second and 20. And that will be a timeout. Tippy Valley will be right back on our DC TV4 and the IHSA Champions Network. And the IHSAA Champions Network. Andrew Thompson along with McCartney Wright. At 36-0, Tippy Valley up over the Blue Devils. 
And we're coming out of the timeout from Coach Moriarty, second and 20 from the Jack Roach sack on Cody Iske. So second and 20 at the 15. Empty backfield, empty backfield here for Eastgate. And here's Eastgate back to pass. He's looking. He's going to throw it over to Lena Durkis. And that's a very solid reception. Beautiful throw there from Eastgate to Durkis. And that will break a third down and three. That makes things a lot easier for Tippy Valley. Same formation here. They're going, they're going no huddle here. He's going to look and he's going to throw and it is complete over to Wade Jones. That is an easy first down for Tippy Valley. And now they're in the two minute offense here. Obviously, a bunch of hurry ups unless a timeout gets called. But a great catch there by Wade Jones. So a nine, that was a nine yard pickup there for Tippy Valley. Eastgate under center. And Eastgate's going to spike the ball to stop the clock, and that will bring up second down for Tippy Valley. So, now now Tippy Valley, they're just, you know, they're definitely going fast-paced here. 100%. I mean, I, that was a smart play there. Don't want to waste a timeout, so just spike it down. Stop the clock either way. Second and 10 of the 42, 48 seconds left to go in the first half. And I think Tipton calls a timeout here. We'll be right back in RTC TV4 and the IGC Champions. Andrew Thompson go along with McCartney Wright. Second and 10 at the 42 yard line here. If you're Tipton, do you show blitz here? I mean, it's. The way Valley's played this drive is they're going pass heavy here and hurrying up the clock. So if you do blitz, you do have the risk of. A receiver getting loose going downfield and catching it for a big touchdown. So Eastgate, East, single, or Eastgate empty backfield. Eastgate looking to pass. He's looking. Gets out of a sack. He's going to throw it on over to Parker. And that is a first down. Down to the 45-yard line here. They got to go hurry up here. And great way to extend the play there by Cody Eastgate. And I think he's just going to spike it here and stop the clock. And 33 seconds left. Eastgate able to uh, clock, the, clock it here. And I'll bring up second half for Tippy Valley. 33 seconds left to go in the first half. Valley up 36. And uh, Valley here has plenty of time, plus two timeouts. Plus, if they keep getting first downs, as many spikes as they want to stop the clock. Second and ten for for Valley. Empty backfield for Eastgate. Back to pass. Rolling. And he's going to complete it on over to Wade Jones. And he's able to knock off some players. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Third down for Valley. And Tippigan Valley here going to call a timeout. Their second of the half. Valley. Valley calls a timeout. That was a gain of five there. So Coach Moriarty calling his second timeout. I think if they can get the first down on this upcoming play, it's going to be a, I don't want to say very manageable kick for Overby, but what from what we've seen tonight, this could be a very manageable kick, and it could be 50-plus yards. No! <laughs> <laughs> so third and five for Valley coming out of their second timeout. You expecting another pass play here, Drew? Yes, I'm expecting another pass play. What about you? Uh, I'm, I mean, I am too. Uh, he could find Nate, Trent, Wade, basically. Oh, oh they're going to go over and just sweep on over to Parker. That's a first down. Still on his feet. Oh, they're going to get. Block at the back from Wade Jones. 
That's going to push it back. That is, that was, that is not good for Valley. And now there's 15 seconds left, and it's third and nine. So third and nine for Valley. Eastgate and shotgun. Eastgate back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to throw a, a beautiful pass, but just incomplete. Landon Durkis almost, he was wide open, but I believe he went to look for it and just stumbled over his own feet here. Now, I believe Valley's going to go for it here. I was kind of expecting Gage Overby to come in for a kick. I believe Valley might kick it. So Valley's going to go for it here. Fourth and nine at the 44. Eastgate back to pass. And this time it is complete. Landon On over Durkis. to Landon Durkis. Final timeout for Tippy Valley. Now do you think they're going to go for a touchdown here or bring in they're Justin bringing Tucker of high school? No, no. Are you going to stop saying Justin Tucker of high school? All right, school? all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, they're gonna bring in over B. It's down at this. So it's from this. So it's at the 16 yard line. So it's gonna be a 33 yard field goal. And Tipton's gonna call a timeout here to ice the kicker here. The classic call a timeout to ice the kicker. So Overby will attempt the field goal attempt. And again, McCartney, this has been all Vikings for this entire first half. 100% been all tipping into Valley here. And I got to say, half of it's been Gage Overby. Overby, well, again, okay, it's... it's Right, it, of course it's Overby, but of course it's a Valley offense here. I mean, you are correct, but he's just got the three touchbacks, it just insanely good kicks. From 33 yards, Overby is up, and it is good. All right. <laughs> 39 to nothing, Tippy Valley, two seconds left in the first half. Do you think they're just going to do a little squib kick just to, you know, end the first half? I mean, I think it's a very good potential move here. Or Overby could kick it out of the back of the end zone, and they just try one deep ball before the half ends. That's what I would imagine. Oh. So Overby. <laughs> so Overby again to kick it off. And Overby to kick it off. And there's just, oh, it's going to be out of bounds. Penalty. <laughs> It's going to be on Overby. And that is not the way that Overby wanted to end the first half of a kick out of bounds, McCartney. No, not at all. But it was, he just needed a few more yards to the left there to get it to stay in. Uh, it was just, it was beautiful, but it just went out. But... I don't think it would really matter here. I think they're going to just take a knee to take it to the locker room. 
And did I mention that Valley's going to get the ball to start the second half? Yeah. I still remember that from the coin toss. And they've got single back and four men out wide. This could be a play action pass. Or they could just hand it off to end the half. No, it's going to oh. be a Neil McCartney. You were close, though. I was, uh, yeah, I was very close there, Drew. And that will take us to halftime. After one half, it is Slippy New Valley, 39, tipped in zero. We will be right back from our TV 4 and the IHSA but champions. The, the score doesn't get ballooned to where it's like 72 to nothing. I right. think you walk away a happy team. Parker's going to return this one. Pass to 20, gets down to the 25, misses with the number tackle, down to the 30, down to the 32-yard line. And that's where Valley will start off for Tippy Valley. Now, do you think when the fourth quarter starts, Steve Moriarty is going to bring in the JV? Yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised this varsity squad is still out there, if I'm being honest. This is, and again, they're going for the running clock now for the rest of the half, unless Tip, Tipton scores. So I would imagine maybe they score one more time, and then, and then JV comes in for Tippy Valley. I form here for Valley's offense. First and 10, hands it off over to Nate Parker, who has four touchdowns in this game. He might have another one. I think he will. Nobody's in front of him. That is his four rushing touchdowns, one receiving, five total touchdowns. First play in the second half. Continuing the dominance from Nate Parker on the ground. I mean, I just want to know what Nate Parker's stat line is for the night. Four or five total touchdowns, excuse me, four on ground, but I don't know how many yards this kid has. He is an excellent player to have in the backfield here. Excellent run. That was a perfect run there from Nate Parker. Over B extra point is good. Is somebody from the cheer block going to catch it? Nah, they won't catch it. What? Why did I think somebody from the, from the cheer block was going to catch Yeah, I don't know. He sent that to the moon. Yeah, I, it was close to somebody getting the, close to somebody getting there. Uh, it was definitely close, but uh, I think I overheard that was a 67-yard run by Nate Parker. App and McCartney. And I was just for and we were talking to McCartney before the second half started about how Valley might, you know, let the clock go through, take their time. But no, Val Nate Parker said, I think he overheard I think Nate Parker down there heard my commentary say, Hey, let's waste the clock and said, No, Andrew, we're gonna run it for sixty plus yards there. I mean absolutely. Nate Parker he took that rock and just went home with it and it's past the 30 he will get past the 30 yard line close to the 35 and that's where the blue devils will start off dallas capshaw comes in to lead the dallas capshaw I, I i really wish he was good because that sounds like a name that really sounds like a name that that jerry jones would draft honestly <laughs> Obviously. Dallas Capshaw. That just sounds like a Dallas Cowboy waiting right through him. How much did they pay Dak again? <laughs> Money. Money. First and ten for for Tipton. Capshaw back to throw, and I think that's what they're going to do maybe for the rest of the game, and that's a first down, and a flag will be called. And I believe that's going to be on Brock Durr for leading with the crowd of the helmet. That was over to Spidell again. That was an 11 yard game, and they're just gonna. They're just gonna add even more yardage to it. Yeah, targeting on. On Valley. Uh, the, place will be, the ball will be placed in the 45. First down for Tipton. 
Gapshaw looking, gets the snap, hands it off. Oh, gets through. They're able to just get right on him. He's able to get past the tackler there. Cameron but, uh, Mason was able to sniff that play out, but multiple defenders for Valley able to take them down. That was Durkis on the tackle. On Three, second down and 12. And Nate Ingstrom coming in for Nate Parker. Letting Nate Parker get a bit of a breather. He's been on all cylinders and everywhere in this game tonight. Kind of, I think Parker may need a, need a little bit of a, of a breather. Kind of sounds like it. Second and 12. Capshaw looking back to throw. He's looking. He's going to get crushed. And it's going to be rough in the passer. And it is caught by Spidell. A penalty on the play. There. And that was an obvious right from the start. One of Valley's players was able to knock Capshaw down. And, and you can. It will be first down. And if you're. And if you are a defensive player, McCartney, no matter what, even if you know you didn't try to hit him, once the quarterback throws it, don't touch him, don't do anything. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, 100% agree there. That was, it was about a second and a half too late for the hit. And now Tipton here is in the red zone, and they're probably going to hand it off up the middle. And a two, and they were to get it through as he in. And I believe he's at the one-yard line. He kicks it down to the one-yard line. That will be second and goal for Tipton. And I expect another handoff here. Second and goal at the one. Hands it straight off, oh. and he got Smother still on his feet. That was Durf on the hit. And My goodness. Instantaneous contact there for Brock Durf, making it a third and goal for Tipton here. So third and goal for Tipton. That was a loss of two there. What are you thinking here, McCartney? I mean, it's just, you got to expect another handoff here. They're within five yards. I mean, they've had a couple good handoff plays, but they might try and do some trickery here and possibly throw it. Uh, as Valley does probably expect a run. And is there going to be timeout? Timeout. That was a timeout from Tipton. We'll take a break here from our TCTV4 at the IHSA three yard line here. And McCartney, again, what are you thinking here? I mean, I'm expecting a run here, as probably everybody is. But in this situation, Tipton, Tipton might want Valley defense to expect a run, so they might be able to get an underneath route for a touchdown here. I mean, they're lining up at the same formation they've been lining up in all night with a single back uh, in shotgun. So, uh, you know, this could either be a run up the middle or pass. So far, it's looking like a run up the middle, unless a tight end goes on an underneath route. Third and goal, fakes it, throws it. Wait, no, he's still on his feet. Looking, and it is incomplete. Overthrown. Fourth and goal for the Blue Devils. Like I said, you know, I feel like Valley would have expected the run, but able to get back there and make perfect coverage and perfect pressure on Dallas Capshaw there. Make it a fourth and three, and most and likely a field goal situation for the Blue Devils. So now... Tipton will attempt to get their first points of the game from 20 yards out. He's just going to need a little light tap here. Forfeit, forfeit goal, and it is no, no good. good. No good, so score remains. 46 to nothing. And it is still not looking good for uh, Tipton here. Still can't get anything on the board. No, nope, and that was their best drive of the night. And now here comes Valley. At Valley, I believe they're and bringing out their JV squad out. It looks like mainly starters, but they've got Hunter Stage in at quarterback. 
and we saw him from last week. He has a decent, he has a pretty good arm. He's got some good speed. You know, I feel like Steve's just going to keep it simple with some run plays. And this game will still remain a running clock unless, unless an injury happens, then the clock will stop. 46 0 Tippy Valley. Under stage, under center. And he's going to hand the ball off. Get a few yards there. Get a couple yards there. It will bring up second down. That was Styles on the carry. And that will bring up five. And Wes Parker's coming in for Trent Marshall. And we've got Brock Durf in the backfield. Single back formation. And stage again. He's going to toss it and a flag down. Oh, offside. That is a neutral zone infraction by the Tipton Blue Devils. I, I thought they called that on the motion from Styles. Yeah, I thought so too. And I believe that will be an automatic first down for Tipton. You that check that. Tippy found. Now I'm, now I'm messing up. You're getting everyone's name confused. And Moriarty comes in for Durf. <laughs> Same formation as the last play here. And oh, get the able to just carry on and just flip it off. And he's still on his feet and a flag on the play. Check the let's check the penalty here. It'll be a holding on on the Vikings, and that will bring up a first and long for Tippy Valley. Inkstrand coming in for Parker, and why of all times do penalties just right now happen all of a sudden? And there are a lot of penalties here in this game. A lot of penalties. So first and long, and it'll be a fake. And no, Stage is gonna gonna run. He's gonna throw it, and it is incomplete. That was great scrambling there from Stage, just incomplete. And we'll bring up second down. That was intended for Brandon Styles. It was incomplete, and Styles was hit at the end of that play there, but no call made. And Brock Durf comes in for Grady Moriarty. A minute 49 left in this third quarter. Second out of 24, the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Second and 20. Clock still running here. Out of the 20 yard line here. 10 left on the play clock. And he hands it off again as Brandon Styles yet again gets a few yards. Now we'll bring a third and long for Tippy Valley. That was Brady Henderson on the stop. Now this is a not as manageable, but it still is a manageable third down to, uh, conversion to pick up as Parker comes in for Ingstrand. So third and 14, McCartney, do you see Hunter's passing the ball here? Uh, you know? I hear a stage back. That That's answers right. your question. He's going to run for it. He's got yardage, and he's is he going to get... He's going to get close to that first down marker. Actually, no, he is going to get that first down. And what I was talking about earlier, Hunter Stage has some good speed on him. For a little guy, you don't expect him. I mean, you probably do expect him to run, but he was very elusive there, able to pick up enough for a first down. So first and ten, might run one more play here. 46-0. Styles in motion. Oh, fumble. And a fumble, and Valley was just able to jump on it. And a miscommunication from the center and stage there, bringing up a second down and 10. 
And that will be the end of the third quarter. Valley up 46 to nothing all over Tipton. We'll be right back on RTC TV4. And we're back on RTC TV4 and the IHSA Champions Network. Andrew Thompson along with McCartney Wright. And 46 nothing. Valley up here. Second and 10. Stage under center, and he's going <coughs> to hand it off. He's going to get a few yards, oh. flag on a play. Let's check the penalty marker here, see what it's on. Who's the penalty on here? Hold on Holding. the Vikings. And Wes Parker comes back into the game. Engstrand gets a breather here. Yeah, Engstrand's going to get a breather here. And so second and long for, for Tippy Valley. Hunter Stage still in the quarterback. Hands it out over to Wes Parker. West Parker on the jet sweep. West Parker, gain of about, gain of about nine, maybe ten yards. Uh, you, I think so, maybe eleven. But that was a pretty good uh, pickup there. And so Ingstrand, after one play out, comes back in. So it was an eleven-yard gain, third and six for Valley. And a running clock still going, going on. Are you expecting a pass here? I'm not sure. Third and six, another muff snap. Uh, stage is He's going to be about one yard shy. Yeah, one yard shy of the first. And I, I might go for it if I'm Valley here. I mean, you're up. You're, I mean, I know you're up by a lot, but like, it's fourth and short. Maybe go for it here. Maybe just have some fun. I mean, if you're up by 46. And as Moriarty comes in for Durf here, I mean, obviously Valley just having fun. I think they're going to go for it here. They might do. Uh, they might hark count the snap here. You might be right there, Drew. I know we like to do that. Actually, no, they will. I know they're going to fake the oh. handoff, and Stage is going to pick up the first down. There we Creative, go. Creative uh, play call there from uh, Carl Weaver, the offensive coordinator. That was very creative. Yeah, I mean, that was a very interesting QB keeper. It looked like he might have tried to hand it off to someone, but just took it up the field. Might have been some confusion. It could just be me thinking that. I might be the only person in the world who think there was confusion. Either way, it worked to perfection. So first down and 10 for Tippy Valley. So nine minutes left to go. In the fourth quarter, and he hands the ball off. It's over to Styles. Gain of about four. And that will bring up a second down for Tippy Valley. And again, I think Valley now, they're just going to waste the clock here so that we can get on home now. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Tipton fans, we you know, wish they were home right now considering the outcome of this game thus far. So, oh, no, he gets crushed there and he gets plenty of yards still on his feet. Brandon Styles still on his feet. Is he gone? No, no. he's down the, the, around the 10 yard line. First down for Tippy Valley. What a run by Brandon Styles. Hunter Stage was absolutely rocked on that play. But he was just able to get the hit the pitch off. Gain of 31 on the play. So first down for Tippy Valley. Stage hands it off over to Brandon Styles. Gains of about three. Bring up second down. 
So now Valley's pushing forward now here. See what they do here. And now Engstrom comes into the game. Hand off to Engstrand. And Engstrand, touchdown, Tippy Valley. Engstrand walks it in, making the score 52 to 0 with seven minutes left in this game. And they're still going to go on with the running clock here. 52 nothing Valley. I don't know about you, McCartney, but this kind of seems like a lot of points for Valley. <laughs> Def it definitely seems like a lot of points, but Valley is going to come out of here as 4 and 0. And Overby. unless some unless a miracle happens here, with 6:30 left to go, extra point is good. 53 nothing. If anything were to happen, it would have to be the Colts versus the Vikings for a huge comeback like this to actually happen. We'll be right back on RTC TV4 and the IHSA Champions. And we're, and we're back on RTC TV4 and the IHSA Champions Network. Sorry, we had a little technical difficulty there of our microphones. 53 nothing, Tippy Valley. Andrew Thompson along with McCartney Wright kicking off away. And is able to receive it. And able to get a return. And he's going to get four uh -oh. more yardage. AC going to be gone. And he's going to be down at around the 45, down at the 43, maybe 44 yard line. That was a good return there for the Blue Devils. That was definitely maybe one of the better plays uh, this game for, uh, for uh, Tipton. And the Blue Devils on first and 10 at the 48 yard line. And we have number 18, Dakota Garman, in at quarterback. And oh, oh he missed. Not a great a first play for Dakota Garman here. Only a freshman, though, standing at 6'1, 155, listed as a wide receiver and cornerback. So maybe something different for him. And maybe that's why he uh, fumbled that snap there. I don't know. I really don't know. So second and 17 for the Blue Devils. And second and seven. He's going to get the keeper here. And he's able to get a few yards there, and it will bring up a fur down in about 11, maybe 12. Might have just picked up the yardage lost on that last play there. Uh, but, Cardi, I hate to interrupt you. I just want to—I just really want to mention uh, our new WRSW guy. He, he's, he was talking about Isaiah Pacheco. He said uh, Isaiah Pacheco instead of Pacheco. So if he listens to this, just know that I... And I mentioned that. All right, that uh, that irked you the wrong way. <laughs> Third down and ten. Garmin shotgun, and he's gonna do a QB keeper. It's gonna be another keeper. It's gonna bring a fourth down for the Blue Devils. And picked up, I believe, two there for a fourth down and eight. And the Blue Devils will send out the punt team again. And Wes Parker back there to return. They traded a Parker for a Parker there. So fourth down and nine for the Blue Devils. Let's see if we can rush that punter again and make him botch the And punt. oh, botch the punt. Able to get there, almost blocked it. And that was still a good punt regardless. Oh. That will bring up first down for our, for our tip for our Tippy Valley. So, 
And this could be the last drive of the game. Let's see if Valley wants to take it downfield. They have every opportunity to, but they might just waste the rest of the clock here and send Tipton home packing with a big old goose egg on the scoreboard. On the scoreboard. <laughs> scoreboard, really? <laughs> First down and 10 for Tippy Valley at the 33. Stage under center. Already a flag. Yeah, it's going to be a false start on the Vikings. Actually, Tech, I believe it's a delay of game. Five yard penalty. Yeah, here is a carry there, and I will solid tackle there. Good tackle there by Brady Henderson. <laughs> Making it a second down and eight, or pardon me, a second down and seven. Second down and seven. Believe if Valley picks up one more first down, I'll just need it for the rest of the game. Second. Second out at seven at the 35 yard line here, fourth quarter. Jet sweep again. He gets great outside. Boom. Great. And he's oh, Wyatt gone. He be gone. One man to beat, and he's oh. able to get knocked down. First down for Tippy Valley. And the nail in the coffin. Wyatt Hart, he was able to cut inside there, wanted to take that the distance. But he cut inside, and that could be just like that. That could be, I don't know. Oh, and it's Wyatt Hart's birthday, too, my I had. Yeah, so happy was, birthday to him. That was a great carry by the birthday boy there. Stage. He's going to hand it off again. He's gonna, oh. gonna get a birthday touchdown. No, he's he still won't. Going. Not. He's still, still on his feet. He's still going. He's still, still going, going, and he's inside the five. And first and goal, Tippy Valley. They might just let the clock run out here, which would be a huge disappointment for everyone in the stands because I think they want to see Wyatt Hart. Yeah, I think they do too. But oh. and that will be the end of the game. So that is your that is the end of the game. Your final score: Tippy Valley fifty-three, the Tipton Blue Devils zero. And that was deja vu from last week, except. Even more scoring from Tippy Valley this game, McCartney. You are absolutely right. I feel like everybody wanted to see White Hart get a, get a touchdown there. On his second carry, was able to carry that for a good long while, able to fight for extra yardage. But um, as Andrew said, Valley wins 53-0. to zero. That is the end of the game. Along with Vanessa Stutzman on camera and McCartney right. I'm Andrew Thompson signing off from RTC TV.